Hello there and welcome to another episode on Peter Malloy Architect. Uh, on this tutorial what I'm going to be covering is elevations, um, specifically room elevations. Um, so I've had a few questions come in just in regard to how to plant a room elevation in on drawings. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I have a little plan here and I'm just going to chuck in a elevation, room elevation view and uh, yeah we'll go from there. So up here you'll find in your view tab, um, come to elevations, um, you can either just come straight in here, um, come down. Now I have different um, elevations set up in here. You can set up your own type um, by coming in and doing edit, um, duplication. Sure, we'll just make one here now and here for a bit of crack. Um, room elevation uh, example. And then what you can do as well, actually, which is a neat little tool here is in the edit tab, you can come in and give it a view template as well. So if you have your room, uh, room template set up, you can come in here and grab it. Um, but just for the sake of example, I'm just going to grab one of my, um, many architectural, uh, elevations and I'll just grab one of them just for the sake of example, we'll say elevation proposed, come in, press okay. And I am just going to place this straight in there in the middle of the kitchen and sitting. And you'll note that this guy is in here now as an elevation view. So what I'm going to do from here is I'm just going to populate these, um, these ticks here. And you can do that just by clicking on, just tabbing and clicking on uh, this center model here. There you go. And you'll be able to click those. And what that does is that it creates four different views um, aiming at all these various walls here in this room. So if I click on this one here, you'll note that it grabs the wall and if the extent of that is dictated, um, if I turn off this view here, we should be able to grab it. Um, one second there now. Yeah, perfect. Sure, look, I'll just go straight into the view and anyway. go to elevation view. Yeah, and that is grabbing just the two planes and the two walls that are out here. Um, so there's that partition wall. And there is, if we go to plan, you'll see this big um, cottage wall here and then our extension partition here. Um, so I'll go back into that elevation view there. I'll go to view. And as you can see, I can change up the extents here to go higher, lower. Um, and then obviously you can go into, this is all grayed out. Um, that's another tip. Any of this is grayed out. You probably have a view template set on. So you come into your view plan template, you can change the scale there. Um, I'm not going to do that here because you get the idea. Um, you can change it to, you know, one is to 20, which is usually what we do our uh, room elevations at, or even bring it down to one is to 10. And I'll just go into the other ones just for the sake of example. Um, this one will be looking at the other direction and I'll just grab the scope. Boom. I'll chuck that up there, bring this one down. And yeah, you're just kind of playing around and manipulating the view to, to get whatever you like. And um, those uh, elevation levels are coming in as well there. You can hide whichever ones you don't need. A uh, quick command for hiding is EH. So I'll click EH and that'll be permanently hidden. Um, alternatively, you come down here and just press hide. Um, yeah, and then that's kind of how you would place them in on the floor plan. And then if I wanted to name them, I can come down here and just say, you know, um, kitchen room elevation one. And that'll come in there. And then if we come down to our elevations, should be in here somewhere. Proposed elevations, yeah, kitchen room elevation one. And then if I wanna come down and rename this guy here, same process kitchen room elevation two i'm aware i spelt misspelled that first one there as well but sure look oh well um yeah and yeah and if you want to like if you're looking to set up um you know the view just actually one more tip, you know, when you, when you have a view and it's created, uh, there's a view template on, if you want to take that off, just come in here and just press none. I might just do that here for the sake of example on this. And uh, we'll bring this one down to one is to 20. Yeah, it's looking a lot cleaner. Um, we might remove these EH. Um, 
and we might move the extent out. You can crop these regions as well. So what I might go in is just press edit crop and just align, align these drawings uh, or these lines rather. So a line there, a line there. It's nice to get the walls in, I find, and the, the floor as well, just for a bit of context as well to see what's actually happening um, in and around the room as such. I just press OK on that. And then, you know, if you wanted to get your room heights or whatever, you can come in here, throw your heights on that, throw your heights on the door, door to ceiling, you know, you get the idea. Um, yeah, and then you can kind of, you know, you can annotate, you can chuck in your spot levels and whatever, whatever's going in, like you can put a level up here if, if you want it. Um, and, um, yeah, I'll remove this fella as well because he's not really applicable there. Can, that's bringing up ground level, ground floor level, which is actually the ground floor level of the cottage. I brought this down 100 mil. Um, so even like for sake example, for buildability, if you wanted to put a dimension in for that for the builder, um, that kind of stuff. And then, yeah, you can you can chuck in a bit of text then. Just say it's obviously incredibly small, so we'll change that. Um, we'll throw on a bit of a bum. We'll just make it really obvious. Um, plaster finish. Um, you know, this kind of stuff on your, your room elevations just for constructing drawings or planning drawings or anything like that. You can duplicate that down there and just put, throw in, you know, double, double slide door. You get the idea anyway. Um, yeah, sure, look, if you have any other questions um, relating to elevations, specifically room elevations, as I was saying, um, let me know in the comments. And um, yeah, I think that's that's relatively everything. And uh, yeah, what sometimes I like to do is, like obviously that looks incredibly bad on a, uh, on a plan. So I'll come in and I'll press, I'll go into annotate and come down to elevations, which is here. And I'll press that off. I'll just press OK. And now you'll note that that is actually after disappearing the the little um, the little elevation um, uh, kind of annotation or just little symbol there that is gone. Um, but if I want to find that guy again, I can come in here and um, reveal extents. And uh, yeah, I can I can still go in and do exactly what I was doing uh, when it was visible. Like you can go in and uh, view view. Jeez, that looks terrible, doesn't it? <laughs> Um, yeah, like I was saying, if you have any other questions relating to room elevations, give me a shout in the comments and, uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by this week's tutorial. If you would kindly like and subscribe to the podcast or to the, to the YouTube channel, that would be really, really great. And also if you could share it with a colleague or a student or whatever like that, um, if they're, if they, if you think they'd find this helpful as well. Um, yeah. And lastly, if you have found these tutorials helpful, please consider giving me the price of a pint or a, a coffee there. I've left my PayPal uh, link in the description. So yeah, if you have the price of a pint or a coffee, that would be really, really greatly appreciated. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you next week uh, for another tutorial. Thanks for stopping by. All right, good luck.